Hey, get the f out of there, man. Uh, uh, f up, man. So you gotta be. See, look at that. Look, look. See that little sucker. Oh, man. Uh, uh, it's not just cars out here that can set you up for a real effed up day, but there's five things on the road that can cause a rider to crash. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Yeah, that brap brap light, baby. Oh, I love this bike, baby. Uh oh, was that a cop? <laughs> no, I'm about to say I'm seeing things, man. <laughs> Ripping the throttle. That's one thing that's cool about the Supermoto. You rip that throttle, you ain't doing triple digit speeds. Just getting all that bottom in goodness <laughs> yeah first off you know make sure you're wearing the gear out here to keep you from having an effed up day you know like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an auto tent shield my most favorite helmet and my airbag vest to help keep you safe new shorty gloves gear all my stuff I always include links in the description and comment section of my video definitely wear that gear guys gonna help keep you from having an effed up day especially this airbag vest man I don't know why you guys don't wear an airbag vest but ah oh, that was a runner that sucked <laughs> but it was fun I like doing all size willies good times baby but you know what you got to be real careful you know when I crash uh, you know, just going simply going around the corner there in the hood, and my uh, front tire washed out on some gravel. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, anything can take you out, but the number one thing that makes motorcycle riders crash out here on the streets, of course, is cars and trucks. And they usually get you from the back or they do a left turn in front of you or they side swipe you I mean they can come at you at all angles that's why you always got to be looking around you always always staying sharp looking in your rear view mirror being in gear at stops ready to you know, rip you know get on the throttle if somebody comes at you from the back that doesn't stop um, always paying attention to cars getting ready to make that uh, make that left turn, you know, honk your horn, look at them, make sure they're looking at you, rev the throttle, get their attention, be ready to stop, you know, uh, you got to look at every one of these cars as though they're going to get you, man, I've said that in many videos, but yeah, of course, you know, everybody knows that cars and trucks are out here out to get us, but uh, number two, that a lot of people don't pay attention to, that takes out a lot of riders, when even me the other day, but I got lucky and jumped off the bike as gravel, like I said. That gravel can get you even at low speeds. I was just doing a little a few miles an hour, just getting ready, just turning the curb, and my front tire, front wheel washed out on some gravel, man. It could take you out just like that. That's why I don't understand riders that are out here trying to do knee slides and elbow slides around corners and stuff out here. It's stupid on public streets, man, because they're not clean. You don't know you're unreliable you don't know what's going on with them man so it that's why you see a lot of you know racers they stick to racing at the track and then they have like a cruiser or you know some sort of street bike to just cruise out here on the streets man or, or like me get on the um get on your supermoto and uh cruise and bust some wheelies and have fun man <laughs> You know, it's fun at low speed. Just a little, little rip like that is fun on these little supermotors. You don't have to go fast. That's why you see I don't crap around on sport bikes anymore, man. Back in the day, I used to go down to the... I went down to the Triple Niggle Road that like four times, which is our... That's the our twisty road here in Ohio that has... It's like an hour and a half chock full of twisties, man. But it's got gravel. It's got horse manure. It's unreliable, man. It's kind of dangerous, to be honest with you. I was lucky, man, um, that I survived that road messing around speed like I was doing, you know. It's just not worth it, man. You know, it's really not worth it. It's really, you know, just go to the track. So you got to be careful when it comes to gravel and avoiding gravel. 
um, like you, when you get ready to make a turn on a road be be careful right here like I said this could take you out look see that right there up in the corners there's gonna be some gravel almost every time so try to stick to like going in the middle and not at the side see the side always has gravel man see my mistake was going at the uh, the corner from the side the very towards the curve that was just stupid on my part that uh, brings me to number three is black ice guys that's why you see I don't ride in temperatures below 40 degrees even at 40 degrees you can still have some black ice lingering black ice but you see I'm very cautious when I ride out here in the winter time man um, you know I'm especially going around corners and stuff and just always looking if you see any wet spots or anything any dark areas avoid it um, cause that black ice man that black ice can get you boy <laughs> it sets you up for real every day I've hit some black ice here and there before man and uh, luckily I, I came out of it okay but it could take you out easy boy um, I tell you when I lived out in Colorado man I never well I would never ride in the winter time out in Colorado man cause their weather's erratic but one time I was going down uh, like a, a slope hill and there was some black ice and I slid right into the intersection luckily a uh, car didn't hit me when I went through that intersection man but black ice can be really scary man you have to be very cautious riding in the especially on a motorcycle you got to ride extra cautious out here that's why a lot of people don't ride in the winter time they don't want to risk it uh, but I can't put my bike away man <laughs> I can't do it I can't put my bike away man I gotta ride it I gotta rip here and there do a little wheelie or something up in here man you know what I'm saying but see here coming at this that don't come at the near the curb man when you're making that turn grab will get you number four thing to watch out for of course as you guys know is oil spots which tend to be directly in the middle of the road here because you know it leaks underneath cars so generally you probably want to be over here or you want to be over here um, generally you need to watch out for oil spots when it just rains because it activates the oils when it's dry out here it's not that big of an issue unless it's like fresh oil and it's a bunch of oil in the middle of the road which you very rarely see um, but it's just best to avoid the middle of the road but I use all parts of the road myself um, you know I've never had an issue with it but so you gotta be see look at that look look see that little sucker that brings me to the next one <laughs> uh, rodents like squirrels which I many there's been several squirrels that have almost taken me out man <laughs> hey 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 get the f*** out of there man hey see look at that that little f animal man whatever <laughs> and also um also a rabbit almost took me out man oh man and a rabbit raccoon <laughs> believe it or not uh that was kind of scary the rabbit raccoon raccoon man because he was like foaming at the mouth and just standing right in the middle of the road daring me to do something man and i just ripped right past him and luckily he didn't jump at me or anything man could have set me up for a real effed up day but really honestly these roads are really just for cruising out here guys just cruising and Busting a little wheelie, busting some wheelies here and there. That was a weak wheelie though. <laughs> but that's why the supermoto is awesome, man. Just to be able to just cruise around here. Oh, uh, you see, everybody want me to do wheelies up in here, man. <laughs> He's like, get the wheel up, get the wheel up, dude. I don't know, that sun gets you too, boy. You gotta be careful of that sun, man. That's why I love, also love the Supermoto is that if you do go down, you can pick the bike right back up and keep riding, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that a lot of times with sport bikes. They get all jacked up, man. Sometimes you can, but these things, you beat them up, you don't care about it, man. If you get some scratches or something on it. And they take, they're made to take a beating. Look at my bike, still look new, man. And I've dropped this a couple of times, crapping around. 
Yeah, baby. But leave a comment below and let's talk about some maybe some other things that can set a rider up for an effed up day out here on the road. Maybe I'm missing something. Um, but don't forget to subscribe to my all little motorcycle channel and make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.